olden days, well, the 80s and the 90s for me specifically, we didn't have mobile phones where we could take a picture and send it to our friends with a push of a button. And we had to do things a little bit differently. We had to take a long road around things, as most people had to do in that timeline. Um, we'd get a camera, a disposable camera, which usually held a maximum of around 24 shots, 36 if you were rich. Um, and then with that, you would take your finished film down to Max Spielman or Fast Film, Boots, and you'd pay a fiver um, and pray to God that you'd get at least six good photos um, out of that bunch. Within them photo packets came these things. These are called negatives. Um, and if you wanted a copy of that or send one to your friends, you had to take that negative or give them the negative and they would take that to the shop and say, could I have these three, please? And they get charged another fiver and have to wait another hour and then off on the way they could go. So this week I've been invited to a Facebook group which was around kind of college years and stuff like that and that's kind of forced me to look within my little photo collection to share some memories with those people. Um, and a lot of them photos are now missing but we have the negatives. Um, and I found online, this thing is called a PIC scanner. You see that there? Mm -hmm. um, so what this is supposed to do, and I've not opened it yet, so we don't know whether that's, that's gonna do its job or not. The idea behind this, it's a light box that we can put a negative on, and download an app to the phone, and then we should be able to take a picture and get the negative image out. So we're gonna try and set that up now and see how we go. Okay, so pick scanner. That's the bad boy. We're gonna see what's in the box and how we set it up. I wish I'd have brought an knife with me, but I haven't. So uh, we might have to speed some bits up. So first thing we've got is the light box type thing itself. What I'm assuming is that we put um, some batteries in here. Um, which creates a light, we put the negative over the light, and then there's an app for the phone that we should then be able to scan images onto. So that comes into two little bits, and that has some prongs inside. So it opens up. I love the way they just don't look at instructions or anything. We just think, yeah, that's what's going to happen, and away we go. So the mattress. That's it. Uh, I'll do this bit first. So, should hopefully be as simple as. Yeah, it's simple. Lightbox works. Take it. It's one way around. Again, don't need instructions. It says. Take it. Phone goes. Our phone camera goes in there. While the negative is in there. We'll see what we can. Okay, so a bit of a spoiler alert, I have had some hands-on time now with this because I kind of went down a bit of a wormhole um, once I started um, going through some of the negatives. So, and also so to, to kind of get used to it, so I can kind of give you a little bit of a better idea on how um, it works. So, as you can see, take this apart okay so this is how it comes so it comes with the legs we saw me unfolding the legs before just very straightforward there's battery compartment here uh, with two AA batteries in basically just activates this light box here okay that's all that's for we'll place the rods into the holes who were and then there's a hole at the top for your 
um, and camera lights are going. So we, we needed to get an app um, and the app, I'm pretty sure I've got video, but it's called Pic Scanner. Can you see that there? Okay, and we'll go into Pic Scanner. We've already got it downloaded and it thinks at the moment it's looking. So if I put my hand in front of it, my hand goes into a negative um, zone. Weird. Okay, so then we'll turn the light box on. So the light box is on. And then I'm just going to place the phone on the top. And I'm going to see what sort of magic we can find. So for some reason, on this negative, I can see that there's only one image on it, which is typical. But what we'll do is we shall put the negative in there, like so. Oop, nearly. One way around, or well, easy way to fix that, is we just take that out. Pop it in the right way, and on the screen. Because it was right at the end of the negative trail, we don't get it till the end. But there we go. So there is an old school photograph. Way. So dead, dead easy from this point, um, and I'll probably show it on screen as well as like this. So there's a camera button there as if there was to take a photograph. You press that, when he eventually recognises it, it does it. And then there's a few things here, so you can change things like uh, the filter, um, the fr put a frame around it, that type of thing. And then once you're done, you just press the tick saves it to your camera roll uh, and then what I've been doing is going into the camera roll and just cropping the image to how I want. So if you can see at the top there's these lines in so we could probably do that now. So these are the images that I've been going through tonight but dead dead easy so I'm just going to press edit down the rabbit hole quite a bit uh, and there was genuinely some photos in there that I've never seen in my life before which is pretty cool. Um, in terms of the ease of use, it is easy, easy to use even though I struggle a bit, I've just got short, um, short, not enough desk space, I think that's, that's the word I'm looking for. So yeah, ne and negatives are not the easiest thing to kind of um, sort of handle, things like dropping out and who we were, yeah we're coming in with them aren't we? Um, as overall a really good product, um, simple, really simple to use. Um, I think I've probably um, uploaded maybe about 35 photos to uh, particular social groups that I wanted to share them with, um, which has already had loads of reactions and they're still going strong. So I've, I've probably got about half my negatives done in the space of a couple of hours. If you like the video, please subscribe the bell notifications um, make sure you tune into the Art House podcast uh, Robbie Knox coming up there very soon um, 
and if anyone posts any of our videos or retweets or uh, drops a comment on the podcast we're going to enter everyone into a draw to win a Robbie Knox t-shirt um, so yeah we'll uh, catch you later Thank you.